Well, hello, it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. I hope you've recorded your Raw for Change video and posted it online. Mine's on YouTube and Twitter and pretty much anywhere. So go and have a look and also make your own Wookiee Raw to make uh, a real change to a lot of children, thanks to UNICEF and Lucasfilm. Now, I'm here doing an unboxing. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing video before, so it's a new thing for me. And I am unboxing this. Da, 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 da. Apologies to John Williams there. Um, this has been sent to me by the lovely people at Lenovo, um, and it's the new Star Wars Jedi Challenges VR game where you can do all kinds of things. I'll tell you what those kind of things are. Um, you can have lightsaber battles. Um, you can command rebel forces against the evil empire in a large scale ground, um, ground war. Or you can play hollow chess, um, which I know um, George Mann, um, who write, I write with on various things, um, he's very excited about coming down and playing that um, the next time he's able. Um, so yes, yeah, so lovely people. Lenovo sent me this um, box, which I'm going to open, which is what you do in a box opening video, apparently. I'm good at this, aren't I? It's like I really know what I'm doing. Okay, so um, I'm going to use uh, a little, oh no, I don't, I don't think I need to. Yes, I'm going to use a little knife. Get an adult to help you with this, children, um, to open the seal, and we're in. I feel there should be a kind of noise as I do it. Oh no, it opens, it opens this, oh I don't know if you can see. I don't really know how it opens. Oh, it's got a little hingy thing. The hingy thing is a technical term. There's another seal here, just slip through that, there we go. Ah, there we go. It's literally a box. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. At that. Beautiful lightsaber. That's really nicely packaged. And there, and there she is. It's a elegant weapon of a more sophisticated age. Have I got that quite right? I hope so. Otherwise I'll be looking like a fool. Um, so there we go. Well, that's nice, actually. That feels good. Should we see what else is in there? Ooh. More packaging. Like so. That's in my Jedi Challenges bag. Plastic bags can be dangerous, it reminds me. Ah! These are my VR goggles. I like to think, obviously, when I put these on, I'm just going to remove the plastic, um, that I will be much like Luke on board the Millennium Falcon when Ben's given him his lesson with the um, training remote. Probably won't look that cool. I think that's probably a definite there. Okay, so I'm going to have to obviously look at some instructions for this, but I'm just going to put it on so you can all laugh at me. There we are, I'm in. Probably have to do some adjusting, what do you think? Good? Do I look, do I look like a Jedi yet? Oh yes. Blast visors. Very good. Should I really come? I've, I've tried some VR sets and not felt very comfortable at all in them. And these are good. And I'm also going to be able to, because I need to wear my glasses to see things, um, I'm going to be able to wear them underneath, I think, because there's nice little gaps. There we go. Let's see what else we've got in here. It's a little, this could be my training remote. Oops. No idea what that's for yet. 
we'll find out and let you know. Oh, this is batteries and chargers and the like. So there you go. That was an unboxing. I have unboxed. And now I'm going to go away and play. We've got, I've got two sets of these um, and my, both my daughters are very excited about this um, and I'm sure they're going to want to dive in as soon as they're home as well. So I'm going to have a play, see how I get on and I'll let you know. Well, welcome back. Um, I've now nipped off around the galaxy and had a go at Jedi Challengers. Um, of course, early on when I was introducing the game and doing my unboxing, I made a few mistakes, mostly Obi-Wan's line, which I can't forgive myself for, but also the fact I called this a VR set, when actually, of course, it's an augmented, an AR, augmented reality set, which means that when you put your helmet on, you can still see your surroundings, but just like a hologram, you see things appear in front of you, and there's a few games. Now, I haven't had long to play on it, but what I have played, I really really enjoyed. You can play a strategy game. Um, you start on Naboo in the training stages, that's where I've, I've got to at the minute, um, and you've got a base at your feet, and you've got clone troopers, and you've got battle droids, and obviously there's a fight going on between them. You can start placing gun turrets and captains and Obi-Wan Kenobi into various places in the strategy game so that you can try and win the battle. Um, obviously, the early stages, it's quite easy to win the battle. I'm assuming it's going to get a lot more difficult. Then, of course, there's the bit um, I was looking forward to, which was the lightsaber duel. Um, and in the training, you get a, a couple of um, opponents. You get a battle droid, you get a, um, one of the super battle droids, and then you get Darth Maul, who I have to say, I defeated very easily. But that's probably because I've been trained by a Jedi trainer on how to hold the lightsaber um, and block and parry and all those kind of things. I have to say, it's a lot of fun. You can basically see your opponent there in front of you. You can block shots um, from the battle droids. You can um, you, you block, the shot, block the swipes from Darth Maul. Um, and it's great having them actually there in front of you um, as if they're in your lounge, which is a bit surreal, but also um, really good fun. And then the final part of the game is the Star Wars chess the hollow chess as seen in the Millennium Falcon. Basically at this point of the game the hollow table from the Falcon appears in front of you with the little aliens on top and I said I've only done one training thing so far but it teaches you the different moves um, and you look at your piece on the board, hit your lightsaber button and that selects it and then you can move them around the board to attack the opponent's pieces. So all in all, as you probably guessed, I have enjoyed it. I'm, I'm going to look forward to delving deeper into the game because I've only got time, unfortunately, to do a, a, a little bit of it because I'm getting ready to go to Portsmouth Comic Con, where I'm appearing tomorrow. But I'm definitely going to be going back because it has got that great thing as well that obviously you go through different levels. You've started off Naboo, the challenges are quite um, basic, but you just know they're going to get harder and harder. And I like the fact it's got the three different kinds of challenges as well. The one thing I am looking forward to, and for this I need my daughters back um, in the house when they're back from school, is the multiplayer um, mode, which I think has only just been announced, maybe even been announced today. And with that, with two sets and two lightsabers, you can actually duel against each other, not just against characters from the game, but you can stand there and have proper um, lightsaber duels. So I'm looking forward to that. I know my kids are going to absolutely love it. So that was my first thoughts um, on playing the game. I really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to delving deeper. Um, and yeah, if you want to um, find out the game for yourself, follow the link in the comments or in the Twitter post or wherever I posted this. Um, and thanks for watching. And uh, may the force be with you.